the new Final Cut Pro 10 integration for Cantomo Portal introduces support for libraries in Final Cut Pro 10 10.1. In this video, we'll take a look at how the solution has evolved alongside Final Cut Pro to extend the opportunities for editors to collaborate and share their work. Let's begin in Final Cut Pro and explore the library round trip to Portal. It's important to understand the constituent components of the workflow. In this rudimentary example, the library contains an event, a project, and four video clips. The project sequence contains selected portions of each clip in the event. Uploading the library and the media to Portal begins with exporting an XML file. Select the event and choose File, Export Event XML. For this process, it doesn't matter whether you choose to export Project XML or Event XML, as Portal always uploads the related library. The name of the XML file reflects the name of the event. But again, it's not the event Portal will upload. Ensure the export location is set to the watch folder defined in the Cantomo Agent application. Change the metadata preferences if required. Note that the event is referenced again. And click the Save button. The Cantomo Agent opens on receipt of the FCP XML file. The Cantomo Agent is a lightweight client application, which has been completely redesigned to accommodate the new workflow options and features. The first thing to note is that it is the library that will be uploaded to Portal, along with any associated media. Clicking the checkboxes will determine which files are uploaded with this operation. Metadata can be added to all of the files as a batch, or click to select individual items to add metadata that's specific to each file. For this demonstration, batch metadata will suffice. Fill out the metadata form as required. The fields you see are determined by Portal user preferences. Click the OK button to save the changes and close the window. Click the Start button to upload the files to Portal. Each item has a separate progress bar to monitor the speed of the transfer and click the Done button when the upload is complete. In Portal, choose Find Last 10 Items to view the uploaded files. Logging in as a different user reveals that the library and media items can be shared. To send the library back to Final Cut Pro, simply click the item menu and choose Open in FCP 10. When Portal and Final Cut Pro share the same storage, the library is available to use in an instant. There's a variety of ways to add to the library from Portal. One method is to use the Rough Cut Editor to send a sequence of clips to Final Cut Pro. To view an existing Rough Cut sequence, click the item menu and choose Rough Cut Editor. Drag the playhead to scrub through the sequence. Use the search field to locate additional clips. Click a clip to open it in the viewer player. Press the play button or use J, K and L keyboard commands to preview the clip. Press I to set an in point. Press O to set an out point and press E to edit the clip to the end of the sequence. Click the save button to preserve the changes. Return to the main search and click the menu of the rough cut sequence item and choose Open in FCP 10. Select the destination library and click the Choose button. A new event is created in Final Cut Pro. It contains a new project sequence and the media used in the rough cut. The name of the event is the same as the new project, but it can be changed as required. Double click to open the project and view the rough cut in the timeline. Editing in Final Cut Pro is completely unaffected by the Portal workflow. To save the changes back to Portal, it's a matter of exporting another XML file. The name of the XML file is unimportant, as Portal just uses it as a mechanism to upload the library. It is important to send the file to the appropriate watch folder, and to choose the right metadata settings if there's information to include there. Click the Save button to open the Cantomo agent. On this occasion, all of the files are known to Portal, so there's no need to upload anything but the updated library. 
the option exists to determine whether the library and portal should be updated or whether a new completely separate version should be created. Click the Start button to begin the upload and Done when the upload is complete. The contents of the media bin or a collection can also be sent from Portal to Final Cut Pro. To add an item to the media bin, use a search to locate an appropriate item. Then drag it to the media bin at the bottom of the screen. To send the items to Final Cut Pro, click the media bin menu and choose Open in FCP 10. Select the destination library and click the Choose button. The clips appear in their own event in Final Cut Pro, and any portal annotations are displayed as range based keywords. The clips can be moved to another event if appropriate and edited into a project timeline as normal. Export another XML file to save the changes. As you will have come to expect, Portal recognizes all of the media and only needs to upload the changed library. The new Final Cut 10 integration also supports editors that do not have access to the same shared storage network as Portal. This option creates all sorts of new possibilities for remote collaboration. In this situation, when the Open in FCP 10 option is selected, the Cantamo agent determines that the shared storage is not mounted on the client system and provides the opportunity to download the media to a local drive. Each of the files downloads in turn. If Portal is configured appropriately, this can occur over the internet. Once the media files are stored in a managed library, the associated events can be moved between other local libraries with ease. To confirm that the files have been stored in a managed library, right-click one of the clips in the browser and choose Reveal in Finder. Managed files are stored in the original media folder of the local library. The process of uploading a managed library for an offline editor is no different to an online editor. It's simply a matter of exporting an event or project XML file to a portal watch folder. In this example, the Cantamo agent is able to recognize everything but the new library. And it is the only item to be updated in portal. Remote editors that have just been supplied a drive with media files or import new media locally can also work with Portal in this way. In this example, the import contains a mix of media. The majority of the files have been downloaded from Portal, but there are also three new clips. Importing the folders as keyword collections helps to keep them distinct for the purposes of this demonstration. The imported media is automatically sorted into keyword collections determined by the source file's origin. Select the event as before and export an XML file. Confirm that the destination is the appropriate watch folder and click Save. In this scenario, because all the media was introduced via Final Cut Pro, the Cantamo agent is ready to upload all the files along with the library. However, because the majority of the media has already been uploaded to Portal, this step is unnecessary. The situation is easy to remedy. Click the Reconnect Media button and click the Reconnect button. The Cantamo agent uses a checksum operation to identify which files are already known to Portal. Click Done to close the Reconnect window once all the media has been checked. Add metadata to the new items as required. Click the Start button to begin the upload. Click Done to close the Cantamo agent when all the files have uploaded successfully. Refresh the search in Portal. All the new items will be available to any user who has the appropriate access permissions. The Cantamo Portal integration for Final Cut Pro 10.1 introduces a wealth of collaborative opportunities for editors wherever they may be located. By developing an application that continues to evolve alongside Final Cut Pro 10, Cantamo are able to offer exciting new workflow possibilities and enhancements. You can find out more about Portal at www.cantamo.com.